Hi guys, this is Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I just want to show you this grouping of stuff here. In all honesty, doing DIY stuff, making toiletries is really what I started at when I started crafting. And this is just something I love to do. I haven't done it in a while because I've been, you know, trying to build my craft channel with paper crafting because that seems like what people really, really want to see, uh, paper crafting, which I don't have a problem with. I actually love paper crafting, but this right here is a love of mine. I actually love making hot processed soap. Okay, I'm going to do it one day. I may do a video uh, when I get a chance, but that's one thing. That was the first thing that I actually learned to make was hot processed soap. I loved it. My children loved it. And um, I got into the rest of this stuff. So let me show you what this stuff is. These are the containers that I showed you the other day. Well, you know what? Let me. I'm ahead of myself because that video hasn't come up yet. So let's just go with these these containers. And this container right here, this is um, rose petals. And there you go. These are dried rose petals. Oh Lord! If you love the smell of roses, this is a serious sensation for your nose. These right here are lavender. I say lavender buds. I say lavender flowers. And here they are. And I'm going to tell you the significance of all of this in just a second. I have chamomile flowers. It's the chamomile flowers. I think this is spearmint. Yeah, this is spearmint right here. Different top. But that's spearmint in there. I have rosemary downstairs that I left. But like I said, I'm going to tell you the significance of all this stuff in, this, in just a minute. This is citric acid. I don't have that much. I have to order more. But there it is. The citric acid. This is the stuff that makes bath bombs fizz. I'm going to put this on the floor. I have right here baking soda so there we go baking soda we all know what baking soda is what it looks like this is the borax looks like baking soda almost knocked it off of there this this is um, what is that? Mule team washing soda. Is that washing soda? No, this is, yeah, this is the washing soda right here. I need to go ahead and put the a label on here, but my, my, um, <clears throat> my labeler doesn't work right now. And this is Epsom salt. One of the things I have so much of right now. But let me tell you about this stuff. From these items, I could probably make five or more products, I think, without having to go to the store and get anything. Actually, it's probably more than that, so let me see. If I use the chamomile, the lavender, and I, is it, it's chamomile and lavender. If I use chamomile and lavender, lavender, those flowers together will make a relaxing tub tea. If I use rose, spearmint, and the rosemary, that would make an energizing tub tea. I could take each tub tea and add either baking soda and or Epsom salt. You know, baking soda is a water softener. And Epsom salt... Uh, relieves like sore tired muscles so that could be a relaxing bath if you did that even if you use it 
even if you put the Epsom salt in with the energizing things, it's still a great thing. With the citric acid and the Epsom salt and the baking soda, I could make bath bombs. Okay, you know, like the ones that you get at Lush, I could do bath bombs with those. I could do tub truffles with those. I call them tub truffles. The only thing that will be missing with the tub truffles is the cocoa butter. And with this stuff right here, which I'm about to tell you about the next um, throwback Thursday, actually it's the next next one, I could make a dishwasher, dishwasher, a dishwashing, the electric dishwasher detergent. I'm trying to think, and I know there's something else. Oh, and with the baking soda, the Epsom salt, the citric acid, I can actually make toilet fizzies. So these, with these little few items, there's so much that you can do. And also with those items, if you uh, look for the recipe, you can make the laundry soap, which is my next Throwback Thursday. Okay, so I just really want to show these to you guys and just let y'all know this right here is probably one of my, I ain't gonna say probably, this is my very first love and it's making toiletry pro uh, products. I particularly love these lavender flowers and the chamomile with the Epsom salt for my grandbabies puts them right to sleep and you know what as soon as I get the tea bags I'm gonna make their mama some so she can put their little behinds to sleep because I don't know why they refuse to go to sleep but they do okay guys like I said this was just a really short video I just wanted to show this to you guys and if you decide to make any of the products that I I'm showing or bringing to you on this month of throwback thursday diy is going green let me know please if you got a video point me to it whatever you need to do okay okay guys that's it i want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't i would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments i truly appreciate it come back anytime and i see you all in my next video bye bye love bugs